Ah, Mr. Secretary. Mr. Burr. Sir. And did you hear the news about good old General Mercer? No. You know Claremont Street? Yeah. They renamed it after him. The Mercer Legacy is secure. Sure. And all he had to do was die. Yeah, that's a lot less work. We ought to give it a try. <laughs> now how you gonna get your debt plan through? I guess I'm gonna finally have to listen to you. Really? Talk less. Smile more. <laughs> Whatever it takes to get my plan on the Congress floor. The Madison and Jefferson are merciless. Well, hate the sin, love the sinner. Hamilton. I'm sorry, Burr, I gotta go. But decisions are happening over dinner. Two Virginians and an immigrant walk into a room diametrically opposed foes. They emerge with a compromise, having opened doors that were previously closed. Bros. The immigrant emerges with unprecedented financial power, a system he can shape however he wants. The Virginians emerge with the nation's capital. And here's the pièce de résistance. No one else was in the room where it happened. The room where it happened. The room where it happened. No one else was in the room where it happened. The room where it happened. The room where it happened. No one really knows how the game is played. Of the trade, how the sausage gets made. We just assume that it happens. But no one else is in the room where it happens. Thomas Clay. Alexander was on Washington's doorstep one day in December.